What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are playing some historic with turn one soul rings mono black uh, gray merchant deck. So this one's really really sweet. Um, it does everything you would expect it to do. It plays a bunch of creatures out, uh, all of which have some solid amount of devotion ideally. Uh, and then they are able to capitalize on that with the Grey Merchants. So essentially when this comes down, for as much devotion to black as you have, you deal X damage to the opponent and you actually gain X life. Now, what's amazing about this is we've got things like Nightmare Shepherd, which again, turn one soul ring, a genius when it comes to deck building, because whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you exile it, then you bring it back as a 1-1 token. Well... That works very, very well with Fiend Artisan, which allows us to sacrifice a creature, pull out a Grey Merchant, or sacrifice a Grey Merchant, get it back as a 1-1, and then also get another Grey Merchant. Uh, so really, there's there's a lot of synergies here. Uh, most of this deck is creature-based, but we do have, of course, a couple of Heartless Acts here, uh, just as ways to kind of deal with opposing creatures very efficiently. Uh, we've also got Agonizing Remorse as a way to deal with the opponent's hand a little bit, uh, pull some stuff out, as well as hopefully deal with the graveyard. This is a little bit flexible, which I like. Uh, the life loss here, uh, and life loss in a couple of other areas, is kind of annoying, but uh, we also have some life gain, obviously, with the Grey Merchant. We've also got uh, dead pr or Dread Presence, excuse me, uh, which can allow us to, to dream for two every time we play a Swamp, which is amazing. Uh, but this also allows us to draw cards along with Castle Lockflame, which allows us to draw cards. Murderous Rider, a very good removal spell for creatures or Planeswalkers, albeit, again, we do lose a little bit of life. Uh, Ayara, first of Lockthwain, does give us a little bit of uh, life drain as well, though, so we can kind of gain that life back and draw cards off of it. Uh, Grim Dancer, we can give it lifelink, uh, but we have the choice of either Menace, Death Touch, and lifelink, and we can choose two of those. Uh, so we've got a little bit of flexibility there, and then, of course, Woe Strider here is a way to not only have a continuous recursive threat, uh, but also just scry to the top. If we need to, we can kind of figure out what's on top of our deck and kind of move forward with the best game plan here. Uh, we also, at the very top end, uh, and as a huge devotion uh, push, is Massacre Worm. So Massacre Worm, a 6 mana, 6 5. When it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponents control gain minus 2, minus 2. So it kills a lot of things. And then whenever an opponent's creature dies, uh, they lose 2 life. So this can be a very quick way to win the game, depending on what they've got. Uh, we uh, have 19 Swamps here, 3 Castle Lockthwaim, and then 1 Witch's Cottage uh, as a way to kind of bring back creatures. Uh, really the big engine cards here are Fiend Artisan, uh, Dread Presence, Nightmare Shepherd, and then of course the Grey Merchant itself. So I'm excited to give this one a shot. Turn 1 Soul Ring, I have tested it once. Um, it was up against an Esper Control deck, um, and actually we won. I was a little surprised. It was a grindy game, though, uh, I will say, and so I'm really hoping that we can uh, see how this goes against a variety of decks and just kind of be able to see uh, a better idea of what we're, we're going to be able to do here. Um, yeah, we keep this. We've got a nice turn to Agonizing Remorse, or depending on what they've got, maybe a Heartless Act. And then, of course, a Yara coming down after that. Okay, looks like Agonizing Remorse. Let's see, let's see. There's a lot we don't want to deal with here. Um, Brazen Borrower is annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, Narsa is annoying, but also not the end of the world. We do have the Murderous Rider in hand, so I think we take Dream Trawler. Um, Birth of Miletus is fine. Brazen Borrower, like I said, is annoying, but not the end of the world. So let's, uh, let's take that Dream Trawler. The only thing I'm worried about, though... And Elspeth Conquer's death does kind of get around that, so we're going to have to hope we can make something happen here. These control decks are a little bit tricky, I think, for a deck like this, um, just because, obviously, they've got plenty of sweepers and things, so. Let's see what we can do. Um, part of me just wants to Heartless Act this little 0-4, to be honest. Um... It's probably not worth it, though. We wait uh, for that Brazen Borrower. They will tempo us pretty well here, uh, which is going to be a bit frustrating. So we just kind of have to hope we can get there first. A Rewind. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take this opportunity to get that out of there. 
Um, we could play something out there. Chances are they'd just brazen borrow it, but um, this gives us, you know, it, it keeps them from pulling out more stuff, which is very important. Um, sure. And so here we might be playing into this a little bit, um, but I think it's kind of worth it. Let's do this. Let's drain for one. They can obviously just brazen borrow it, and that's totally fine. Um, we have Heartless Act as a way to answer it, so I'm cool with that. Sure. There's going to be a tricky matchup. we got to be real careful about how we do things. That is for sure. Uh, and here they might just leave up this rewind. Yeah, looks like they are. All right. Um, well... I think we just play this back out then have them rewind it uh because we do have another one in hand um and we can't play more than one of these at any given time anyway so that seems like the best thing to get countered um obviously going to take a hit here from the brazen borrower but i think uh that's the best option for us okay we do need to start worrying about a dream trawler and things like that though, so a little unsettled by this, but we're going to do the best we can. If we draw a land, we can go a Yara and Heartless Act. Uh, alternatively, we can Dread Presence and then just see what happens. Uh, play the Swamp, obviously. Um, we could also play Nightmare Shepherd. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Ayara. Uh, again, understanding that this may be very incorrect here. Um, and I'm going to take the opportunity to just go ahead and do this now. Only because, uh, you know, if they do have a counter in hand or something like that, obviously we'd have to work around that, and I don't think we'd be able to. Um, sure. Sure. We knew that was coming down, so that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Alright. Um, I think we just play Nightmare Shepherd. Um, yeah, and we pass. Uh, wish we had a little bit more of a board presence. I know we've been spending a lot of time kind of answering their stuff. Uh, I don't think we're incorrect in doing that, but I do uh, worry a little bit here about just not having enough out. Um, okay. Agonizing remorse. Um, so we can do this and play the murderous rider, so I'm actually okay with that. Okay. Uh, I'm also okay with going ahead and playing the Murderous Rider out. I think we attack in here. Alternatively, we could have just played another Nightmare Shepherd, but um, didn't feel obligated. Uh, and taking a peek in their hand when they had that many cards to look at is pretty crucial. Um, worth noting here, though, like, they may not want a Wrath of God for this Yorian. That could also be part of it. Um, alright, let's Dread Presence. Let's do this. Let's Drain. Uh, we can gain two here, that's why we're gonna attack. Um... We also just steal four, obviously. All right. In the form of racing, we're not doing terribly. Um, do we want to draw a card in response to this? I'm going to say no. Um, that's a very annoying card, though, I will say. But to be honest, they're holding their wrath. Like... I think they're waiting until the last minute to, to try and make that work. Um, or they're going to do it after this, which is also a possibility. But that's um, it's going to be tricky. Another non-token creature. So I assume that this means that these three would come back. Oh, this is an approach deck. Oh, I guess that makes sense. 
We'll let it resolve. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we just get all these back. Great thing about uh, Nightmare Shepherd, it's got built-in protection. Thank goodness. Uh, really wish that had been in a different order. That was kind of annoying. Um, let's do this. Um, we kind of have to kill this now that we know that this is an approach deck. Um, that's a very problematic card, so we are going to have to to get rid of Narset just because it can search for it. Um, I think we'll just steal two. Um, All right, well, we just have to hope. <clears throat> yes, we got there. Uh, turn one soul ring, you're a genius, my friend. Uh, we've been able to take down, I know one off camera, but two very strong control decks in the format. Uh, that's amazing. With a mono black deck, that's pretty cool. So well done. Uh, let's jump into game two. That was a bit of a long one. Uh, we're already at almost 12 minutes here, but uh, that, was a, that was a heck of a game. Uh, I think we played that fairly well. We definitely could have done a few things differently, but I don't... I'm obviously happy with the outcome, um, but you got to look along the way and see if maybe there were some mistakes made, and I'm sure there were, uh, but overall I felt pretty solid about that. Um, do I like this hand? It's like a Kahira deck, so... Mm, I'm going to mulligan. <clears throat> I do like this better. We'll we'll drop a, a Yara. Um... This gives us a little bit of more interaction um, and just nice, you know, turn three options here, of course. But this just gives us some things to do a little bit sooner. Uh, and against Kahira, I think that that's very necessary. Uh, we also are really going to be looking towards getting some removal down um, pretty quickly here. What do we care about most? A lot of these cards are pretty bad for us. Um... Huh. I actually think it's the Pride Mate that's the difficult one. Um, Heartless Act is good, but it's a, it has a bit of a struggle against the, the Johnny's Pride Mate once it has too many counters on it, I should say. Uh, we, of course, do have, like, Murderous Rider, but because of that, those things... Murderous Rider kills all these things, so it's fine. Uh, oop, that's not good. Here's to hoping. <laughs> well, this may be a very quick game. Ooh, that's hot. Mm-mm. Yep. Oh, no. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Well, this just feels bad. There's not much we can do about it, but it just feels bad. Um. Yep. That's very good, obviously, against Nightmare Shepherd as well. Sure. Okay, uh, well, I mean, we can do it now just so we don't have to, all right, I mean, we're doing the best we can, <laughs> no lands, this can't do much about it, um, I assume we'd have to go Woe Strider if we, it's very good. Okay. Oh no, guys, we're just not going to get there, are we? <laughs> uh, I mean, all of these are bad. Um, we take this, I think, but they both equate to the same amount of damage, and they both kill us, so we kind of kill ourselves there. Alright, we're just going to... That was a quick game. Uh, unfortunately, we just didn't have land. You can't help that. Oh, that feels terrible. And we mulliganed into it. That feels worse, but eh, it's okay. All right. Let's jump into game three here uh, and see if we can get another win. 
Uh, turn one soul ring. I do like the deck, my friend. Um, just in playtesting it a little bit, and then of course in these games, I really do think that uh, this is a very very solid mono black deck. Um, there are a few different configurations for mono black, um, both in standard and historic, that I think are viable. Uh, but this seems very solid. This is an interesting hand. <laughs> mm. I don't think we can keep it. Uh, as terrible as that sounds. This has so much in it. It's just two lands and only a heartless act. Maybe that's good enough. Uh, but only against like a creature deck. Opponent playing a bit slowly. I think our um our network's been a bit better this time as well. That's kind of good. Uh, also, just want to talk a little bit. Um, we'll do some updates here soon. Uh, I am going to mulligan. And yes, we keep this. Uh, I think we put, as much as I love it, I think we put that back. Um, very excited to say that the JDC stuff is going to be, you will you should start to see more kind of releases and announcements about that very soon. Um, kind of talking about who's going to be in it, but also um, kind of how it's going to work. So I could not be more excited about it. I think it's going to be an amazing time. Uh, so I do, you know, hope that you guys will all enjoy it and, and uh, watch those videos as they start coming out. That's going to be September 21st, I believe. Um, but such a fun time, such a fun time, uh, really excited, uh, nice, so we did take, or keep a strong hand there, uh, chances are they've got kill spells here, uh, looks like just, you know, standard control, not standard as in format, just a standard control deck, yeah, I assume you take murderous rider, yep. This is going to be a fun matchup. Uh, we do that. Hmm. I think we play this out, but... Uh, we do have to worry. You know, there are, are options to get rid of all these, so I have to worry about it. <sighs> Grixis. Okay. Yep, that's what I was worried about. And now we're only drawing land, so... <laughs> uh, this is not turn one... Oh my goodness. This is not due to turn one soul ring. This is due to uh, inconsistency of shuffling. Um, the deck only has... I don't remember exactly, but it's not an excessive amount of land. Or a very low count of land, so... I mean... Give it menace. Um, yeah, we're not doing great here. <sighs> wow. Yep. Grixis Scarab God. Oh, and nice, they did not, uh, attack. That was smart. Okay. Should have given this death touch, probably. Um, but, that being said, uh, the lifelink, I think, is pretty crucial to keep us out of harm's way. So, I, that was kind of my mindset, at the very least. So, we can try and block this scare of God. Um, doesn't really do much, though, to, to do that. I'd rather play to the out of just a really good Grey Merchant, I think. Um, but, you know, we're not in great shape here, regardless. Okay. Well, unnecessary damage. Uh, I guess that was a bit of a tell. Goodness gracious, we have drawn so many lands. <laughs> yep. Doesn't really matter. Um, alright. This is a rough match we're um we're drawing so many land obviously we got something here but with a, a scarab god and nickel bolus we're in pretty rough shape we can't even i mean if we attack we die 
And here we probably just die anyway. Yep, there we go. That's enough. I should say it's almost enough, but yeah, we're dead. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to concede. They definitely have it. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, unfortunately, uh, that was just a rough second two games, but here we go. This is what we're at. So uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will, of course, um, jump into a second video, excuse me, very soon. So we'll have uh, another three games and we'll hopefully get a couple more wins here. Uh, I do want to especially thank Term 1 Soul Ring for submitting the deck. Uh, if anybody else would like to submit one, you certainly can in our Discord channel. We've got something set up for that. Uh, we'd really appreciate it, uh, and it is a great way to, to kind of get community involvement and get you guys kind of playing a little bit in a in a vicarious way, um, but I really do appreciate the submission uh, and all the views, so thank you guys so much, and of course, make sure uh, to enter our Zendikar Rising giveaway as well. That's going on right now until the end of September, uh, September 28th. Uh, comment on any video with hashtag Zendikar, and make sure you're subscribed, and that's all you got to do. So good luck to everybody. Congratulations to the winner when we get there, uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you very soon for part two.